Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and today we have a lot of things to do. For starters, we're going to use a soap uh, company that I have never used before. I think. Caveat there. Um, the name of this company is The Goodfellas Smile and the soap is Ibiso. Ibiso? Something like that. I don't know how you say it really. Ibiso, I'm guessing. Um, the scent on this. Very, very much an aqua, to me, I love aqua scents, so in the interest of full, full disclosure, I love aqua scents. Beautiful aqua scent right at the medium level for me, right at five, maybe a little over. Really beautiful scent. The uh, texture of this soap, let me roll in a pick there for you. This reminds me of a Razor Rock soap because it has those sort of dots in it. It almost looks like it's been graded, uh, reminiscent of soaps that are made by TFS or Shun Feng Sing, I think is, is how you say it. Um, but as you can see there, as you look at the soap, it's got those, almost looks like it's been graded. So it looks familiar to me, but it is put out by uh, Goodfellas. And so uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute in terms of price per ounce and all that good stuff. We're also going to be using a razor that was sent to me uh, by a supporter of this channel, Anthony Vincent. So Anthony Vincent, thank you very much. This is the Razor Rock MJ90A. And what this razor sought to do, according to the folks at Italian Barber, is improve on the Edwin Jagger design. So basically the head is very reminiscent of the Edwin Jagger, except it's a little bit longer. Let's put those together so you can see them. Eh. <clears throat> Can you see the difference there? The MJ90 is a little bit longer, so it covers the tabs. Some people really don't like those uh, tabs exposed on the sides. And of course, it's made of a different material. The head is an aircraft grade uh, aluminum head, and the handle is stainless steel. So Anthony Vincent, Vincent sent this to me because he's a supporter, and he wanted to see me use this. And again, according to Italian Barber, they wanted to improve on this design with a more durable, um, razor uh, that comes to you for, for $29.99, including 10 blades, 10 derby blades, so not a bad price. Generally cheaper than the Edwin Jagger DE89. So let's go ahead and load our blade today, which is going to be Gillette 7 o'clock. We shall get, the, we, we used this yesterday in the Lupo, which is awesome. I love that razor. And so there you see it loaded. Really nice posts. Um, on this razor, the blade's not gonna go anywhere. And there we have it. The handle is a little long for my taste, but um, <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. I prefer the halo handle that's a little bit shorter than this, but overall, for the price, a pretty nice razor. Um, as you can see, those tabs on the ends completely covered, and there you have it. So, let's wet the face and we'll get to uh, starting to load, and we will load from the puck today, we're gonna use our uh, Razor Rock Big Bruce here. And let me squeeze the water out. Let me show you the ingredients uh, to the soap while I begin to load here. And there is your uh, ingredients. Take a look at that. And again, this soap reminds me of, um, it reminds me of Razor Rock soaps or TFS uh, soaps. It's, it seems very familiar to me, the look. So I'm saying I've never used this this uh, type of soap, but who knows who actually makes it. I don't know if the Goodfellas actually make it, but they have it made. It is out of Italy. I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning. By the way, this is a sort of a Italy themed uh, shave today. The soap um, made by a company out of Italy, the uh, brush made, you know, sold by Razor Rock, who has a hip, uh, Joe. I don't know about Michael, but Joe I know is has uh, Italian heritage. And we're gonna use a uh, Razor Rock uh, aftershave also. So we're loading here and just making sure we get a good load because it's, oh, I love the smell of it. It's got a delightful smell, I think. By the way, the price on this, I almost forgot about that, and that is no good for anybody. The price on this at West Coast Shaving was $11.99. That is uh, for 3.38 ounces, $3.54 an ounce, which is in thumbs up uh, territory. So fair price, uh, our scale. 
Between two and three dollars, two thumbs up. Between three and four dollars, one thumb up. Between four and five dollars, we start to wince. And at five dollars plus an ounce, we cry. And so I need to make a graphic on that scale. I know, I will at some point. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we've got enough of a load to uh, get going here. Otherwise we're gonna have a crazy long video. We're gonna announce a give giveaway today. So please stay tuned for that. The uh, giveaway announcement yesterday, the the West Coast Shaving Gift Certificate and the uh, and the Samoak Owners Club brush was claimed by Nick Clay. So good job, Nick. I will be getting that out to you shortly. Uh, the the uh, gift card I'll I'll get out to you right away because I just have to plug your email in for that. It's an e gift card. And the brush I'll get out to you later in the week. So thank you, Nick. I think Nick's been watching these videos, excuse me, my nose is itching, for a very long time. So it's good to see some old time uh, regular viewers uh, winning some of these sometimes, but it's truly random. I just plug it in a, what I do is plug them. Throughout the week, when I respond to comments, I uh, plug the, the names in a randomizer on my iPad and I just hit the randomizer and it draws a name. So Nick, congrats. All right, there will be an announcement for a new giveaway today. So no problems uh, here with the lather on this soap, no problems at all. Man, I gotta tell you guys, and gals, of course, I really loved that Lupo yesterday and I wanna use it again right now, but I need to get through some other things. And I have a video, a two-part series coming up on the Rockwell Model T versus the Rockwell 6S. That should be interesting. I got so many videos to do that I only shave once a day. So doing my best, folks. <clears throat> okay, let's see how our first few runs with the this razor. It's very, very nice. No problem whatsoever. That feels good. Feels like an Edwin Jagger in terms of uh aggression of course this has a more much more weighty handle and so feels quite smooth razor rock I, I must tell you the razor rock brand as a whole just represents tremendous value now you may not like their soaps and you may not like this or that about razor rocks but the value the the value statement that i meant just can't be denied i mean they just they produce so many things that gets products to our door for generally less than most other people, whether it be soaps, razors, stainless razors. And by the way, for those of you who are interested in the Lupo without the coating, Joe commented on my video yesterday and said they would be making um, Lupos without the DLC coating. So. That follows their normal plan. Normally they start out, they make a few special type coatings and colors and all. And then they usually, on their stainless razors, come out with, you know, just regular plain stainless. So if you're holding out for that uh, stainless, then you can do that. I do also like the fact that they, uh, that they make the special Sort of DLC coated one. DLC coating never bothers me. Now, some people don't like it. It has never been a problem whatsoever for me. But some people, I understand, they just don't care for it. And so, I get that. But um, I kind of like that they make a few special editions. Because, you know, then they become later on more of a sort of collector's item and so on. And so, I, th I think that's cool. Uh, that they start out in there. You know, there's usually come out just testing to see what people like and and they usually respond if there's demand by the way no problems whatsoever with the soap um, it did a good job I had no problems at all in any regard beautiful scent I love this aqua scent personally but again keep in mind I'm a big time aqua scent fan so I like almost every aqua scent I have never heard of this company before before seeing it at a West Coast Shaving, so I don't know anything about them other than they're out of Italy. And uh, this soap reminds me a lot of a Razor Rock soap, a lot, or TFS soap. And so 
I don't know if they make it themselves or who makes it, but they're making, they're using a similar method to Razor Rock, to whomever makes Razor Rock, I should say. Really nice, no problems, great scent. The Big Bruce here from Razor Rock doing his job. Uh, folks, I want to mention something else while we're painting here. Um, make sure you check out the comments below. You'll see a little button that says show more and that will show you all the links and the comments and, and so on and uh, affiliate links for Amazon, um, companies that I'm talking about, just various things that are helpful to both you and I. So please check check that out if you're interested in in the equipment and so on um, or just want to, you know, my social media links are in there. There's links to support the channel there. Uh, the, the Amazon affiliate links help the channel, obviously, because uh, when you buy products through there, it gives me a small stipend, and that's what keeps the channel going. In addition to big supporters like Anthony, um, who you know sends these type of items, because I can't buy uh, everything, and I can't buy much compared to what I used to buy. And so I really appreciate people like uh, Anthony it gives me a chance to use these items that I ordinarily probably wouldn't have a chance to buy. Cause you know, I have to, I have to choose, pick and choose, can't buy everything. And uh, so viewers like Anthony are super important and big contributors to the channel. So they help me help you. So please thank Anthony. Anthony, I really appreciate it. By the way, I'm liking the shave this razor is uh, Delivering, I'd say definitely, if you're concerned about those tabs on the Edwin Jagger sticking out and you just don't like that, um, this is definitely an improvement. The handle obviously is a more durable materi material. Arguably the head is a more durable material than what's commonly known as pop metal, which is what your garden variety EJ is made, of, made out of. Um, Feels good. If this handle was shorter, I think I'd like it even more. I just have a preference for handles that are slightly shorter than this. Let's say you took that bottom nub off and the handle was about that long. I would dig that. But a lot of people like, uh, you know, handles that are a little bit longer. All right, but the shave is nice. Um, this is a good head. Very, very favorable when compared to the Edwin Jagger, in my opinion. Of course, you know the Edwin Jagger is a legendary razor chosen very often by new people and lots of people still have them, including myself. Um, it's one of the first razors that I ever used. It is a good shaver. Um, now, of course, not everybody loves it, but it, it is fa fairly well regarded. That and the Merker 34C are sort of known as your two starters, starter razors, but I don't think they're starter razors at all. I think, you know, if you're skilled enough, um, I'm trying to get some of this soap off the tub here. If you're skilled enough, uh, most people can use most anything. That said, if you have a super tough beard, you might require a little bit more aggression. So some milder razors may not work for people that just need super, super aggression. But generally speaking, once you develop your technique and so on, you can use about anything. Um, other than that, that case, uh, you know, your, your skin is too sensitive. There are a few outliers is what I'm trying to say here. By the way, let's announce the giveaway before we go too much further here. Uh, the giveaway is going to be something that we put up previously for giveaway that was never claimed like over a month ago. And this is the, uh, the CS Razor by Square Root Pascal. It's similar to a bevel in design. It is a good shaver. And this is gonna be up for giveaway this week. Again, was put up previously and not claimed. And, and sorry folks, you have to view to win and you have to claim it. Um, and so it wasn't claimed for a long, long time. So we're putting it up again. Again, this is the CS Razor by Square Root Pascal. And he's got um, more razors up on his Etsy site, uh, different colors and so on. I was just looking a little bit ago. It's a good shaver. I liked it when I tried it. So if you want to uh, join the giveaway, let's squeeze some of this out. Not bad. The leather is not bad at all. Um, anyway, if, if you want to uh, join the giveaway, 
same uh, same thing as usual there. Just put your name in town below. And uh, we will draw next Saturday. I don't know the date. I never do. <laughs> Sometime in March, let's say. All right. Boy, I love the scent of this soap. I will say, on the basis of the scent, I really like it. And honestly, not too shabby on the... I mean, if you look at that, the, the light is terrible for seeing lather. There's some good sheen on this lather, and I'm slinging it all over the place and all over my shirt and everything else. But anyway, no problems with the lather. No problems at all. All right, and this soap has been good to me, so... I won't air any grievances today. <clears throat> I love the scent, especially. To me, the scent is the most, uh, the thing that stands out on this soap. Good price, you know, and definitely in that fair price range, the one thumb up territory. And it comes from uh, Italy, so anytime you're getting something from outside the US and it still has a fair price, I really like that because, you know, you have to consider it costs money to ship internationally. It's quite a bit more expensive than domestic shipping. So when you get a price that, when you get a soap from from Europe and it's still priced well, even here in the US, that's a big win for me. So I like that. All right, let's do our last pass with the uh, Razor Rock MJ90. This has been a really nice, just a uh, nice smooth shave. Enjoyable, great scent. You know, I love the, the Big Bruce. I've been using it for years. The Big Bruce, I think, was one of the, you know, it was among the first plus soft type knots that came out that were affordable. And I have had this thing for a long time, and I really like it. And it still does a great job, even today. So I don't know how many years removed since I first bought the, uh, the Big Bruce, but... It has been a good razor for, or excuse me, a good brush for me. I saw Reed uh, from the Shave Cave lather that uh, Williamson man. He really took to it. He was almost out of breath. You know, he was he was working the mess out of that uh, William. So it's going to be interesting to see what the other guys do with it. It's going to be fun to watch. I like watching that kind of stuff. I like these challenges because, uh, you know. There's more interaction between the channels, which I like, obviously. Just having fun with the other members of the community and the content creators, you know, it's fun for me. All right, well, I must say, Anthony, you made a good call on this razor. It is just a perfectly fine shaver. It just does a good job, you know, it just feels good. It glides along. Um, you know, at the price, really good. I would personally, honestly, I would say if I were in the market for an Edwin Jagger, I would probably buy this razor instead. It just feels, the build quality just feels better to me. I do like the fact that it covers the ends. That's not critically important to me to cover the the tabs. A lot of razors don't, and it's it, I've never been bothered by that, but I like the fact that they've made the effort to do it. Okay. Let's do a quick rinse. We shall come back and do the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back with the magic made by witches. New bottle of Thayer's here coming, being called into duty. Ooh, this is a nice shave. Quite nice, pleasant for a Sunday. Or for end of day, for that matter. Let's slap some of this on the dome. Why not? Love Thayer's. I've probably used more Thayer's than any other product over the years. I've used a ton of it. And I, I absolutely love it. Okay, let's talk quickly about the razor. The uh, Razor Rock MJ90A. Anthony, good call on this razor. If you like the Edwin Jagger DE89 and the way it shaves, you'll probably like this one too. Better build quality, in my view, comes to you a little bit cheaper with thin blades. Um, really nice shaver, nothing at all to complain about. I enjoyed it, so thank you very much, Anthony. I really appreciate it. The... A B so soap by the Goodfellas Smile. Uh, it seems very familiar to me. Seems similar to a Razor Rock or TFS uh, soap. One thing I notice about this, 
It didn't have quite as much residual slickness as I was rinsing off my face as some of the other artisan soaps, but it could just could have been the way I lathered it. But overall, a good price, terrific scent. If you like aqua scents, you might want to try this one because I really liked it. I definitely give it a thumbs up. I will try another from from this brand if I find a scent I like. I thought it was good. Uh, Razor Rock Big Bruce, fantastic. Really nice uh, budget brush. Has been doing the job for years and continues to do so. The Gillette 7 o'clock was smooth. We shall finish off with the Italian Barber Aquatico, which I'm almost out of, which is a nice aqua scent as well. Really good cost on the Italian Barber or Razor Rock aftershaves. Oh man, I love this one. I have used almost all of it. I'm gonna have to get some more, assuming they have some. I really like Aqua Sense, like I said before. And of course, do not forget the uh, CS Razor by Square Root Pascal is up for giveaway again. So please put your name in town below. And next Saturday, we'll draw a winner and announce it. So I want to thank everybody uh, for joining us once again. Thank you big time, Anthony Vincent, for, for sending this razor to try. You'll see it on the channel from time to time. I like it. I think it did a great job. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for your support. And I want to remind you, until next time, it's your shave. Do it your way. And God bless.